Shopiling Accounting Pro has very advanced reporting section related to purchase, sales, expenses, payments, inventory and many more. Click on Advanced Report Builder, you will see multiple reporting options. Click on Create Report, it will generate default inventory report automatically. You can change the font of reports and settings. This report can be seen in various ways. You can print it or export it to PDF, Word or in Excel format. If you click on Recalculate, software will verify the purchased, sold, deleted or edited stock records and saves final inventory stock to show in reports. Stock or inventory report has multiple formats, like if you like to see normal stock list, select product list. You can also group the stock with type or name of the product, in which products with same name like phone, laptop or oil with different companies will be grouped together and gives more idea about inventory. You can group the products with same company name to verify the inventory easily. In accounting and balance section, purchase, sales, expense, credit, debit of account it calculated for net balance. Positive net balance shows we have to pay the account that sum of money. Negative net balance shows that account should pay you the sum of amount to make net balance zero. Account receivable is amount which you will get. Notes payable shows total amount you have to pay to accounts. Current balance shows how much cash you have currently. An estimated balance shows how much cash you will have after paying your notes and receiving your cash from all accounts. You can reduce the report size by selecting particular section for accounting, like accounts or customers only select sales option, or for expenses select expense option. Balance analysis by month will generate report from starting to ending month of your choice. It will calculate total sums of income, expenditure, current balance automatically balance analysis by month will generate report from starting to ending month of your choice. It In Payments section, you can create report of separate credits, debits for all the accounts. It will bring all the payment entries in one report according to their dates. Payment entries cannot be deleted or updated. That increases the security of your business. You cannot delete entry but to make it null you can revert the entry by adding opposite entry like credit entry of 100 you can add debit entry of 100 to make it null automatically for that account. You can credit or debit entries of particular account by selecting that account from top drop-down menu. It will be helpful for track or giving every details of any account of customer or creditor easily. Same way we can generate report for only separate credits or debits easily. We can group the all credits or debit payments account wise. Try the different payment layouts which will might help you for your business. In Purchase and Sales section, you can see all the purchase bills in one layouts. You can choose which bills you like to show and report, like product-based bills and service-based bills. Both billing modes can be shown easily. You can group the vendor bills with their accounts for simplicity. You can select which account identity you like to print and report like contact number or tax identity, or city name anything you prefer to identify the account. 
same way sales bills can also be seen in one place. You can also select particular account and watch their corresponding all bills and payment entries in same page by selecting by account menus. expense section. You can generate report of all expense. It will show entries with date. These entries can be grouped with particular account, so you can see all expense entries of a particular account in one place. Expenses can also be grouped with title name. For example, if you bought petrol or tea from multiple sources. If you given them same title for expense, it will group all those multiple account entries in one title to calculate final expense for that. You can show all payment and expense entries of any account in one page. Click on expenses by account and select the account to generate report. Thanks for watching. This is simple overview of reporting options. In next videos we will them one by one in very details.